Hi everybody. This video is going to be finished project for Sakura uh, product here. This is a a car, a window album, guys. I love love my window album, guys. It's it's really not that big. See, I love it. I think it's good size for each year that you do Halloween for your kids. You know, you even can do individual each one. <laughs> but I think one album for each. Is yet is good. So let me see this uh, window album come in like a front and solid bags. You can however buy individual and you'd same in the front and the back. But this one is I did you the copper one and this one, okay. So let me tell you all this. I'm sorry for the refraction. This will be 10 videos if you want to watch processing video and kind of talking, blocking if you don't want, you don't have time to watch so you can watch this video and find the finished one. It's, don't worry guys, I'm not mad at you guys, okay? So I painted this door in black acrylic paint, okay? And I embossed this with my sparkly embossing powder. See if sparkle and buzzing powder from Lack Collection. I love this powder guy, one of my favorite. So I haven't seen any embossing that em have a really good impression like this one does, guy. See Lily. Anyway, um and for the sentiment that you'd see the happy Halloween 2014 and I use the small skeleton head right there. So I use my rings fighting there and I use this certain black ribbon I cannot find my lace black ribbon so anyway so I'm gonna turn this around so on other side I use acetate this one you know what my mistake so don't make mistake like me guys I actually cut the acetate and glue to the window for that is no good because it's plus it's acetate. If you heat it, it will chunk, right? So when I already glue it, it will chunk, and bring the wood with it, guys, okay, because it already stuck it together. So I suggest you guys thread and cut it, make a little bit bigger space than the window. So when you chunk it out, so don't get too short when you cover this, okay? So when you emboss, so you can adhere your acetate to the window so now it makes straighter this one is not bad guys but it's not perfect guys so if I have to do it again I have to um, I hear my acetate after I emboss it see I you know use my watermark and then use my sparkle embossing see to get that look I just love it and then I use the hot glue to make spider web I'm sure you can see now. And again, the paper collection is in punk spell here. So the lot is this scrap lap over from lot my haunted house Halloween. So I cut her right here. So this is tag album here. I have the sh the taller one and the short one. The taller one will fit the door too. Okay. See, let me show you that. Room. See the tall one right there. So this is the short one, and I have my lid. This is a white one. I spray with lin um shimmer the sunset strip. I love this shimmer, guy. Thank you, song so much, girlfriend. This love love using this is my favorite. It's so cute. I just love the bright color. I didn't know that I love that. Maybe because the product is good by itself. That's why I fall in love with it. Love, love it. When you go buy this, you can use my name or song name to get free product when you check out. Okay, Stacy will give you free product when you press an order. Okay. So this page, I did not do anything. I don't want to cover her. So I just leave it like that. In this one, the wish part here, I painted in black and embossed my sparkle embossing powder and then I used the acrylic paint from border here. This is a plant color that I used. So I, you know, I put 
that pen is kind of thick I just build the acrylic up here and I add some a little bit of water to make it dip okay and I have the photo mat right here the foam paper collection and I use this slime stone I think I will have I might have to take it off guys it's falling off it's no good I glue the bottom so this uh, create a pocket for photo mat so I use my Halloween fence again I painted it in black and embossed with my sparkle embossing powder and photo mat oh and this one you can see the strip so because I have a tiny scrap left over I don't want it to throw it away from last project so I think what can I do to make you of it so I just started to tear this piece layer to fill all my page that is awesome guys did save paper and get you everything that you can I love 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 that guys for the next page I use my graveyard with the birthday and the hat so again I pretty much I painted it in black and embossing my sparkle embossing powder and my photo mat right there so this the hat is can tuck the photo underneath there too guys so and for this side I use my soko spiderweb so I cut it in half guys and I use my small spider Oh, on this one, I actually, you know what, I am, I painted this with, I believe, did maybe the eggplant, yeah, did the eggplant color, and I used my sparkle, but actually get effects to color shade a little, I'm not sure you guys can tell, see that? So all I found, I tried only two color black and the purple, this is shade color, auto color, never work, I tried the orange one you will see it's not really shade color so I glue this side and then I make the pocket photo, photo mat there on this side you can see that I used the craft smart there paint it in there and I emboss it you can see that it's did not change the color guys it's not really do the it's I don't I think maybe because the product itself, I'm not sure. I don't really like that product, guys. I love Photo Art and Delta. Those two companies are my favorite and made in the US. Woohoo! So, and I used um, the Wish there. Again, I painted it in black and then I embossed with my Sparkle Embodying Powder. So, now I have my uh, photo mat right there. I did not distress all this yet. And I made this a pocket, then this pocket is really short guys, so I use another piece to cover and I create a pocket. So I use the limestone there and I have my small cap right there. Again, this one I do the same thing. So I cover the paper just right there and another lap over, paper lap over to create my pocket. I use my small bag right there. And this chipboard heart a Fence there, I painted it in black and embossed with my uh, sparkle embossing powder and I have photo mat right there. And I use my lamp post again and the tree, I painted it all in black and embossed again with my sparkle embossing and the pumpkin. See? Really, really easy guys. So. And for the back cover again I use the scrap paper because I don't have <laughs> I want to use all the scrap paper so I start with on the top there there and here see really easy I hope you guys like it I hope you guys uh, I keep <laughs> what am I saying anyway I hope you guys like it anyway so yeah, pretty much that is for my gay Halloween album. So hopefully my family love this and already break stuff. Alright guys, thank you everyone for keep watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye guys.